What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Hey, y'all, my readers, eaters, all my boos and all my dudes. I hope this video finds you in good health. I hope that, um, I hope and pray that your family, you, everyone you love, your friends, that all of y'all are safe from this coronavirus right now. And, um, I'm just going to bring you a video today, but I wanted to show my face and love on y'all and get some love back um, just to say that this too shall pass and we're going to be just fine as long as we do what we're instructed to do. I think that's the main thing is like the social distancing and just doing what we're supposed to do. Um, I'm bringing you guys a video today. Um... It's a pretty uh, detailed video. I'm going to try to go as fast as I can. Um, thank you guys for joining me, like I said. Um, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe uh, to this channel. I am so blessed to be able to come before you guys and, and uh, do these videos and have them uh, be relatable to some people and have some people to like them. I, uh, I love cooking, so I love doing this. And we're just going to get right into it because we have some steps today. And sometimes it just takes some steps to get what you want. I'm going to be making chicken and shrimp carbonara. Very good dish. If you've been any uh, Italian place, Italian restaurant, carbonara is a very uh, popular dish on the menu. You can do it with the chicken by itself, with the shrimp by itself, with not the chicken or the shrimp and just the bacon that comes in it, however you want to do it. But there are some steps, you guys. So I'm going to go as fast as I can. I'm going to do a lot of pa pausing. Um... And we're going to get this done, and you're going to have another wonderful um, recipe to add to your recipe box, you guys. I hope that you are liking these videos. I hope you're telling someone about my channel. I know that you are because I'm growing, and um, I'm just... I'm just grateful. So I've looked at y'all and y'all looked at me and we've loved each other and we're going to get started today on this chicken and shrimp carbonara. So let's go. Okay, right here I have my skillet. It's waiting on me. I've got it already getting hot. And over here, I've already started my pasta as well. I like to go ahead on and start my uh, spaghetti. I'm going to be just using spaghetti uh, noodles. I've got two 12-ounce uh, packages in here. I'm going to make a pretty big um, amount of this carbonara. It's 8 o'clock. I'm really starting late on this Sunday. And I really don't know why because um, right now, we're not having actual service at our church. I did go to service online this morning, and I have been up ever since I went to service, so I really don't know what my slow pokeness is about, my slowness thereof and therein. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, my family's probably looking all upside my head right about now, but we're going to get it done, and the first thing that we're going to do, you guys, is we're going to brown us up some crisp us up some bacon now you want this to be crispy but you don't want it to be hard okay so you're gonna have to kind of babysit it and get it like you want this is just some strips this is like eight strips of bacon that i have just cut up in these pieces okay you see that and we're just going to be crisping these right on up in this pan okay and i know you know how to crisp up some bacon. I'm not going to even keep you on here while I do that. But I'm going to tell you some more things that you need to do. The main thing about this dish, you guys, is prep. Have everything prepped. Have everything ready to go so that you can go through those steps pretty fast and you don't have to spend a lot of time because this one has some steps, you guys. But I'm telling you, if you make it one time at your house, you will make it again. And and if you make it one time, guess what? The next time, it won't be hard to make. You'll be able to do it quickly. So let me show you some things that I have also going on, okay? I have my shrimp. And I have me some jumbo shrimp right here. 
that I have uh, washed, they will already be veined. I've taken the tails off of them, okay? I'm going to season them, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to season them in. This is um, some chicken breast. This was like um, maybe four, or uh, I think it was four chicken breasts. Pretty good sized chicken breast that was already uh, uh they didn't deboned or whatever, skinless, boneless, skinless chicken breast is what I'm trying to say. That I just went in and I just sliced them in these little strips, okay? So we have that. I have one large white onion that has been chopped, okay? So let me show you guys what I'm going to season this chicken in and this shrimp in. I'm going to be seasoning them in the same thing, but I'm going to be cooking them in a different method. That's what makes this pasta dish pretty special because you have these meats being cooked in this different way and then you have all these textures in there in that pasta. So that's kind of what makes this stick out from your um normal ordinary you know chicken shrimp pasta okay let me wash my hands i'm gonna get my gloves and we're gonna get started on the seasoning okay 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 let me check my my uh bacon over here you guys like i said I want it good and crispy, all cooked up, but no burnt, no burnt parts, no burnt parts. Give me some gloves. All right. Let me show you something. Let me tell you something about this dish. On my chicken strips, you can use chicken strips or you can cut you some strips, whichever you find to be, uh, you know, your jam. I had some chicken strip, uh, chicken breast already in there, so I said, okay, I'll just cut them. That's no problem for me. Okay, and then on my chicken, I'm going to be battering my chicken, you guys. I'm going to be making a coating for my chicken, okay? This coating has panko, a half a cup of panko, a half a cup of Parmesan, grated Parmesan cheese, a fourth of a cup of uh, flour, and then I seasoned it with paprika, garlic powder, and salt. That's what this has in it. And you see it's not a lot of it. Because I'm not trying to make fried chicken, you guys. I'm just trying to get a texture on this chicken that's going to make it a different texture from what I'm going to have on my shrimp, okay? On my shrimp, I'm just going to be seasoning it with the same seasonings as the chicken. But it's not going to have any uh panko on it okay so i'm going to be seasoning my meat all of my meat the same way with some cajun style um seasoning choice your choice your choice your choice okay i might as well go ahead on and do it put it on the shrimp too all right cajun style we got some black pepper Can y'all see? Yeah, y'all can see. And like I said, everything I put on this one, I'm going to be, I hope this don't fly out of here. It's coming out too slow for me. Everything I put on here, you guys, I'm going to be putting on my shrimp, okay? Some Italian seasoning right down on there. Season your food, y'all. Season your food. Season your food. All right. Tyson. And then I'm going to go right back in there with some basil. There is probably some in the Italian seasoning, but I just want that as well for extra pop of Italian, the Italian-ness. <laughs> All right, girl, you better get you some Italian-ness, okay? Some salt. All right. Let me take my bacon. Yeah, it's getting cute. It's getting cute. It's getting cute. 
I'm going to show it to y'all in a minute. It's getting cute. All right. So then you just season, okay? I'm going to season this all up. Season it all up. Season it all up. Season your food. You can over salt your food, but it's kind of hard to over season your food. This is a lot of chicken, you guys. A lot of chicken, okay? So season it. Like I said, this is four large chicken breasts cut up into strips. I'm going to go ahead on and start dropping some of this chicken into this bag. Now, I may have to do me another bag. But I'm going to see. If I have some coating on all of them, I'm not going to do another bag. Um, I don't want it to turn into a fried chicken fest. I just want to have enough, okay, seasoning on there. So I'm going to put them all in here and pray for the best. Pray with me. Pray with me. Pray with me, my friends. Y'all love me, right? Pray with me, okay? That I don't have to add none. Because you know, if I have to add some, it's going to be a whole different kind of uh, texture. It's not going to be the same and all of that crap, okay? So we're just going to do just like this. And like I said, we're not trying to do it like we do fried chicken. We're just trying to get it, get some on each one, a light coating, okay, you guys? That's all we want. Take these off. Okay. And my antiseptic. All right. Okay. So, now I know I'm going to clean up real good out the wild. This is just at my house. I ain't cooking in no restaurant, so everybody chill. It's going to be all right, all right? So, you see that? Everybody just got them a light little, a light little taste, okay? You see that? Let me let y'all see that. Just a light coating on there. That's all you want, and that's all you need, okay? So, that's great. I'm going to be frying this. That's what I'm saying. This takes a little time. I'm going to be pan frying this. And I'm going to be pan searing these. Okay? Let me check my, my bacon. You got to be working. You got to be working, girl. Let me tell you, honey. You guys, y'all got, got to be moving around this kitchen on this one. So let me take this, um, this uh, bacon out of this... Uh, Fire. Fire, yeah, yeah. Let's see what I got. I can put her in one of my plastic plates. Ooh. Okay. Find me something to drain it. Be right with y'all. Be right with y'all. Stay with me. Stay with me. I didn't want to pause y'all until I absolutely had to. I know I'm going to have to pause y'all. When I started making this chicken. So I was just keeping y'all with me for a little bit. Let's look at this uh, bacon over here. Sorry. So y'all can see. That takes no time. Alright. And it looks beautiful. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to just drain it right on onto us a plate. And let it hang out. Because what we're going to be doing in here next. We're going to be doing our shrimp in here. All right, right in this uh, grease right here. This same grease is going to be used when we get ready to um, do our chicken. We're going to have to probably add some some um, some more uh, oil to this pan. But uh, we'll play that by ear. Right now, this is enough for the shrimp. Okay. And I'm going to... Um, Get that shrimp all uh, mixed in with those seasonings. And I'm going to drop them right down into, see that? Look at that. Yum, yum, yum. It's going to go on in the uh, sauce, you guys. The bacon goes into the sauce. Now, what I do 
is my bacon and uh, my bacon goes into the sauce but I put my uh, chicken turn this down just a little bit I put my chicken and my shrimp on the top of the sauce and the reason why I do that is because I like to keep my uh, I may not use all the chicken and then tomorrow if I have chicken left all I have to do is throw it in the oven and let it get a crisp back on it and I can use it a second day but if I throw it all down in that sauce <clears throat> It's going to, you know, the chicken is not going to be crispy. And you took all this time to get those uh, textures. So, you know, ride with it as long as you can. All right. So let me take me something and mix up this shrimp. Right. And this is just our shrimp. Turn down this uh, fire because y'all know it ain't going to take the shrimp long. Now, this is just our shrimp that we had in the bowl. All right, with all our seasonings on it. What did we season it with? We had some uh, Italian seasoning, some basil, some uh, Cajun-style seasoning, some black pepper. <clears throat> what else did I have in here? Is that it? And some salt. And I think that's it, y'all. I think that's all I put in there. All right. And I'm going to, um, like I said, I'm just going to saute, do a quick uh, cook on these, on the shrimp, because you know it don't take shrimp long. You just want it to cook through. It takes about six to seven, eight minutes, something like that. Depends on how you like your shrimp. I like all my food, seafood and stuff like that. It, it's got to be done for me. I, I, you know, I don't play with that. But you know what? I'm going to uh, put me a little bit of lemon on here just because mm, let me tell you this stuff I just because uh, I just want to I put lemon on all seafood and I, I didn't squeeze me none down on there and I tell you it always makes a difference with any seafood let me turn this all the way down that pot is that pan is getting hot over there that I had that uh bacon in so let me just cut this right quick and then I'm going to squeeze me some right down on there. Get these seeds out. All right. We'll go just like that. Try to cut, get all of the uh, seeds in my hand if I can. Now, this is just a half of a very large, <laughs> pretty large lemon. So you got your sleeves in there in your hand. So that's all you got to do. All right. Right, so now we're just going to put this in the skillet, and we're going to cook these, and we'll have our bacon and our um, shrimp done, and the hardest, well, it's not even hard, but the, the longest thing that you're going to have to do, and you probably won't take as long as I do, is the chicken, it's in that, and that just depends on how much chicken you're going to be uh, cooking. So we're going to go right back over here to this same skillet, same skillet. All right. Same old, same old. And I'm going to throw this shrimp right down up in there. Oh, y'all watching it for me? Yeah, y'all see it. And then, I, like I said, they were already washed and cleaned. And I took the tails off. This recipe, specific, you know, it says it spe specifies to take the tails off. I think it makes them draw up uh, quicker when you do that. But I'm going to do what it said do. Um, for this recipe. Alright? I'm just going to go right down into this hot oil. Alright? I'm washing pretty good, pretty closely. Let them... Now, you know, that's already, that's always going to uh, cool down your pan, you know. I'm not trying to blacken these or anything. I'm trying to say this is too much uh, grease anyway to blacken them. They're not going to blacken in this much oil. But what I am trying to do is just get a saute kind of, uh, of a cook on them, okay? Let's see. Is there anything else I can show y'all? My noodles, my pasta is already ready. You know, and all I'm going to do is just Turn it down. 
That's all I'm going to do is turn it down. I'm going to leave it in this pot. Probably move it back so it won't continue to cook. But I like to leave it in the liquid because I may uh, use some of this liquid in the uh, sauce. So I like to just keep it over here and just uh, take the pasta out with my little uh, spaghetti spoon and uh, leave the water over here and use the water as I need it. So it's done. I'm just going to move it back so it won't continue to cook. And then I'm just going to let this cook. That's all I'm going to do, y'all. Just going to let them cook, get translucent, get pink, and curl all up and stuff like that. And when they're done, I'm going to put them with the bacon. And then I'm going to come back and show y'all how I'm going to do the chicken. And um, I'm going to do the chicken off of camera. But I'm going to let y'all see me get started, and then I'm going to show y'all how I make the sauce, and we're going to put it all together. So hang with me, okay? Hey, y'all. So there you go. We got our shrimp. We got our bacon, okay? I've taken the shrimp out. Delicious. Looks delicious, right? Okay, this is what you're going to be left with. I, I drained a little bit of this out because as you cook the shrimp, of course, you're going to have some liquid in that pot, okay? But this is what you're going to be left with. I'm going to leave this pot just like this. It's got bacon uh, grease bits in it. It's got the taste of the shrimp in it. I'm going to add some more oil to this. Now, we're not trying to fry chicken, so I'm just going to get me a nice little level uh, amount of oil across the bottom so we can fry pan fry our chicken okay we're not trying to deep fry it okay we're not trying to do anything like that so about a fourth of a cup I would say okay it's about a fourth of a cup you just want to fill up the bottom of that skillet okay and then you have to let this reheat because now we've got that chicken in there and sometimes I go in there and I do this because I'm OCD you don't have to do this okay but I want some of that when you cook shrimp, you get that little film right there, okay? I want that out of there, okay? It's not going to hurt a, a, a thing, you guys. It's not going to hurt anything. You don't have to do that. That's just something I do. And then I'm gonna just going to let this hang out and get hot, okay? Before I start dropping chicken in here, because it don't do no good for me to drop no chicken in here. And then it's not even warm. The skillet is not even warm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to show you how we know if the skillet is ready. Am I reaching over you too much? There you go. Here you go. And take a little flour. Just a little. Just a little bit. Let me see if I can get me a spoon without knocking y'all down. I'm right by y'all. Okay. So take me a little flour. And I'm just going to drop some in it. If it evaporates, it's ready. So it's pretty good. It's hot. I already had hot style skillet. And I'm still messing with these bits. But I'm going to leave these bits alone because these bits ain't going to hurt nobody or nothing. Okay? So I have this on medium high. And I'm going to show y'all I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to drop this chicken in here. You know? And then I'm going to fry up the chicken off camera. And let y'all not go through the dun 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 of that. <laughs> Cause you don't need to see that part. But I do want you to see what I'm talking about. Because I have panko crumbs, bread crumbs in here too. I'm gonna have to wash this, you guys. I'm gonna have to wash this chicken. You just can't be walking all out because you'll end up that panko. It, it fries on up. It, it, it gets dark, so don't have it up too high. You got to have you got to have some cooked chicken now. You talking about messing up this whole thing if this chicken end up not being fried up good and done. Y'all be sick somewhere. Then I'll be sick. Okay? So fry your chicken up. You don't even have to do this like this. 
You can do this chicken the same way that you do your shrimp and saute it, blacken it, or, or, what, or whatever. I was going to do mine in the air fryer, but I wanted to show y'all this way first, okay? So that's what I did. Next time to save a couple of calories, I will fry it in the air fryer because this is a very decadent dish. This is not something that you're going to be eating to scrimp, you know, shrimp on some calories. This is a this is a good one right here. Okay? And I want it just the way it's supposed to be today. What well, that's how I want. That's how Rona got me. Rona got me feeling like that. Okay. Rona got me feeling like that. Okay. And I'm just gonna eat. Like I said, I put a post on my <laughs> on my social media and I said every few days you should uh Take off your pajamas and try on your jeans <laughs> because your PJs will have you thinking all is well in the kingdom when it's not. Okay, we got to check it out every once in a while. I'm a person that lounge around in loose clothes all the time anyway. So, yeah, that's definitely something I need to make sure I'm doing. <laughs> this chicken, you're going to do about four minutes to five minutes on each side. Y'all know how to fry chicken, but I'm just going to show y'all how it's going to be looking. Okay? See, we got one. So you're going to have this nice, beautiful crust on your chicken. Hold on. See that? You're going to have this nice, beautiful crust on your chicken. You're going to have that beautiful shrimp that's just sauteed, y'all. Look at that. That's going to be so beautiful. And then those tastes are gonna mix together and you ain't gonna be able to tell you nothing and ain't nobody gonna be able to tell you nothing when you make this you're gonna be like i did that okay i did it and you're gonna be done did it okay look how beautiful that chicken is okay i'm gonna fry the rest of this chicken up you guys and i'm gonna see you when i'm ready to do the sauce okay Okay, y'all, so we are getting to the end of this journey, honey. And this is all of my golden, pretty, beautiful chicken, chicken tenders, okay? And the only thing that I'm kind of perturbed about is that they're not all the same size, so it's not going to be pretty on my plate, but that's just, y'all yeah, know how I am. Um, so let's go ahead on and make this uh, sauce. What we have right here is the skillet that the chicken came out of, okay? That's the oil that's left over. All I'm gonna do is put me about a half a stick of butter in here with this oil. Gonna make me my sauce, okay? To this butter, I'm gonna be adding a whole onion. that I have chopped up. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I lost a couple of them along the way. Okay. Sorry, y'all. To this, I'm going to be adding <clears throat> three heaping tablespoons of minced garlic. And when I say heaping, I mean a heaping, heaping. Okay. So I'm going to use my same thing that I'm using right here. Give me. So that'll equal about three out of the thing. I'm going to put a lot of garlic in here. I love a lot of garlic, you guys. Your sauce is to your liking, really. As long as you have the base ingredients, the butter, the onions, the minced garlic, the diced tomatoes, the chicken broth, um, what else? The heavy whipping cream and the parmesan, the grated parmesan. But it's really left up to you. The thickness, how much you want of it, and all of that. 
and it comes with playing with it okay so I've got my butter and my onions and my minced garlic now I'm going to put a cup or so of diced tomatoes in here and I didn't cut the fresh ones up I'm just gonna use me some diced tomatoes right out of this can that I've drained so it'll be about a cup or so I'm gonna try to keep all of that fluid out of there as much as I can I did drain them but you still end up with some of that this is just a 10 ounce can so that's almost this whole can right Because 8 ounces is a cup alright we just building up flavor. It's gonna be flavor time. Okay. So to this, we're just gonna let this chill out for just about a minute or so, okay? To my pasta over here, I have put on the top of it, I've got some salt, some pepper, and some Italian seasoning. Because I never want my uh, pasta not to have any flavor on it. I want all parts of my food to have flavor. Y'all know that's me. I'm flavor girl. And I, I just want it all to have some flavor. Some flavor. Right? Right. We're going to be adding this in a minute. I didn't even put no butter in here because this sauce is so rich, you guys. I didn't want to put any butter in that. Okay, so we've got that. Now that that's got a little boil on it, I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to put a, a cup of chicken broth and three cups of heavy whipping cream. So let's go. It's going to be so good and creamy, y'all. All right. Give me some chicken broth. I think I got some open somewhere. Hold on. Check it out in this icebox. I got so much junk everywhere. Yep, I got some. So I don't have to open that new one. Get me some. Get a cup of this chicken broth out of here. Okay, add that in. Then what we're going to add to this is a cup of Parmesan cheese. Now I'm not going to uh, measure this out. I'm just going to pour me some in here. This is, uh, how many ounces is this? This is an eight ounce. So I'm wanting it all in here. It's been open and probably been about two ounces or so have been uh, used. So I'm just going to pour it all in here. And this is where you just stir and you play with this sauce until you get this sauce just like you want it. I'm going to put some salt and pepper in here and some parsley flakes in here as well. And I'm going to get this sauce creamy and to the taste that I want it. I start tasting it right now. It's got a, oh Lord y'all, it's got such a beautiful taste to it. Garlicky creamy, rich, okay? That's one thing this, this dish is going to be for you guys. And I know there's a lighter version of it, but I'm not trying to fix it today. I want what I want today, okay? I wanted this, and I wanted it in all of its glory. I was not playing. So, all right? So, uh, what else I'm going to do? What else I'm going to do? Let this stir. Another thing that I'm going to go ahead on and add to this sauce is the bacon, okay? Let's go right on ahead and add the bacon. Hi, bacon. Hi, honey. How you doing, baby? There we go. Just going to pour it right down in there. Get all of it. I want all of them. Oh, okay. God. There you go. All my little delicious bacon down off in there. Ooh, it's 
gonna be so worth it. Keep on staring. Keep on staring. Start picking it up. Looking at it. Okay. Let it get creamy. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. Okay, I'm gonna put me some salt and some pepper in here. Right? Right? Some black pepper, black pepper, black pepper. Right? Then we're going to come in there with the gotcha gotcha that makes it cute. She always come in and just, she don't be done did no work. She just come in and make stuff cute. And that's my parsley flakes. She says she don't have to work hard. She just, she just here for the show, baby. That's it. All right. I'm here for the show. All right. Put her in there. Put her in there, honey. Put her in there. All right. Oh, yeah, baby. Yes, it's getting cute. It's getting beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Now, if you want this thicker, you can put a slurry, slurry in here, you know, with some flour. I really don't want this to be a thick sauce, though. So, I'm not sure. Sure. I don't think I'm going to. Let me give me another spoon. Where my other spoon? I'll take the so we... oh, Goodness gracious, alive. Oh, yes, baby. You're coming along, baby girl. You taste good, girl. Okay, when I come back, she's going to be on a plate, and we're going to taste her. Okay, you guys, so here she is, chicken and shrimp carbonara. I cannot wait to taste this. Look at that, would ya? Would ya? Let's say a little grace over it. It's my husband's plate. Lord, I just thank you for this day, God. We thank you for health, happiness, strength. God, we thank you that we are still here, God, and you're allowing us an opportunity to get it right, get our, uh, orders, our affairs in order. God, we love you, and we just thank you that we are not in the hospital, that we are not sick, God. And God, we ask if we know someone that's sick, that is in the hospital, that you just strengthen their body, that you heal them. We know that you are still a healer, and we believe in your word and what you say, God. God, we just ask that you would bless this food. Anybody that makes this dish, let it be a success in their house. Let it be a nourishment to our bodies. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, God, and amen. You guys, I love you so, so much. I hope you will take the time out to make this dish. This dish is going to take you on a journey. You're going to have to do a couple of things. But the most hard, the hardest thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to cook your meat. And those meats consist of bacon, shrimp, and chicken. So those are not any hard things that you're going to have to do. Um, pasta, you know you're going to boil your, boil your uh, spaghetti. So this is not going to take you long. It's going to take you a few minutes now. This ain't one of my easy breezies. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to be worth it. You're going to love it. Okay? Chicken and shrimp carbonara. I will see you guys on the next one. Make sure you're telling somebody about the channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And come on over here because your food ain't all the way live until it's been read See y'all next time. Love you. Bye.